Bruh, how is anyone supposed to know what these letters and numbers mean? Don't worry, I'm here to break it down for you. You actually can't just put any old CPU into any motherboard and expect it to work. Let's talk about AMD boards. The different letters differentiate the level of board that it is. A-series boards are super basic and lack a lot of features you'll want for gaming, so you'll pretty much never get one of these for a gaming PC. B-series boards are very, very popular for gaming PCs. These are pretty balanced in terms of budget and feature set, but there's a wide range, so some of them won't have as many features or they'll have less heat sinks. And then X, these are for the highest end builds, so if you're like overclocking, you'll want the X series, but these are also the most expensive. Next is the number. The second number tells you what generation of CPU this motherboard supports. So these B550 boards will support Ryzen 3000 and 5000 CPUs. You can't use the newer CPUs in these because they literally won't fit. Now, if you have a newer Ryzen 7000 or 9000 CPU, you can get a B650 or X670. Now these motherboards support Ryzen 7000 and 9000. They have DDR5 and PCIe 5, but they're missing some of the newest features. Now for B850 and X870 boards, these are the newest ones. So you can still use Ryzen 7000 and 9000 CPUs, but they have a ton more features. These boards add Wi-Fi 7, a faster IO, and have quality of life features like easily removing the SSD slot. Now this X870E, E stands for extreme. This means PCIe 5 lanes are required across the GPU and storage, and this board usually has stronger VRMs for higher end CPUs. And last but not least, do not forget the size. So all the boards that I showed today are full ATX size, so you'll need an ATX case, but none of these motherboards would fit in a tiny little lunchbox case like this. If you wanna build a small PC, you're gonna need an ITX or even an MATX board. They also do have EATX, which is even bigger, but those are pretty rare. Hopefully after watching this video, the next time you're building a PC, you know what all of these letters and numbers mean. Thank you Gigabyte for making this video possible and for loaning me all of these motherboards. Let me know if there's other PC building questions you want me to answer down below. And follow for more PC building videos.